fundamentals of vision, whether it's done on video, whether it's done in an installation in a window, or whether it's done as print in a campaign, I think it's really about a point of view. What's interesting is, segueing from editorial to this particular job, is it's thrown open many more possibilities to explore uh, creative ideas uh, before it was two-dimensional, which accommodates photographs. But now it's a different kind of challenge. Now the people I work with are much more varied. You know, a guy from the MIT Media Lab uh, who's helping me create these kinetic installations. That's why this is a kind of more multi-dimensional. At Barney's now, the campaigns are divided into obviously different aspects of what we sell. Women's designer, co-op, men's designer. In that case, there are certain photographers whose work uh, really align with what we're photographing. For instance, in the men's designer, I felt that Jurgen Teller would be a, a good choice and also bringing a certain kind of sort of wit and irony, which is the DNA of Barney's. I mean, that's the other thing about this store. It has the history of, of a somewhat groundbreaking history of working, you know, with Corinne Day and Stephen Meisel. First, many other first work was here. In terms of windows and in terms of installations, that gets uh, more complex. So certainly the idea is always has been collaboration bringing in outside talent when, you know, not every single time because we have an extraordinary team here, but those collaborations, again, depend on what we're doing at that moment. The response from artists has been very positive because, you know, there is a history also of using windows as, as gallery space. I think this is an extraordinary opportunity to bring in a wide range of people. That's another thing I think that's very important is that to bring to whatever you're doing, and in, in this case it's Barney's, is to be very wide ranging in your interests and influences. What's interesting to me now about fashion and actually young designers, their interests are really again, wide-ranging, very much affected by the things that are happening outside the fashion world. And that, to me, is the thing that this generation brings to it, which I don't think the last generation quite had. And that inspires me because it's a way for us to relate to them, to work in a similar way. You first have to build the, 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 the groundwork to get people like that interested in that is what I'm trying to do and building on obviously the work that I did. Any creative person struggles with evolving, doing work that you're satisfied with, um, that's not easy. I think it's very important to be very, very, very critical with yourself because in the end of the day you're, you're, you're the most important critic. When things don't go well, that can be the moment of inspiration. The windows are a very important part of the whole branding of the store. However, they are just a part. I think what we're embarking on, of course, we're doing a, a very, very big uh, renovation of the store, so now the architecture and the design of the store is another, will be a way of us expressing who we are. I think that clearly the ad campaigns, the photography, are another way to express who we are. We also redid and are in the process of redoing this sort of graphic identity of Barney's. So, you know, there are many pieces. The key to the success is that all those pieces have, again, a singular vision. It, it's got to have a point of view, and I, I do think that we have a point of view at Barney's.